before I start, let's just say things might be a little slow for a while. My actual computer has decided to go kaputski. And it's kind of got most of the Cosmic Wonders content on it. And uh, I'm trying to back it up, but for now, I'm not okay. So I'm going to take my aggression out on some Tumblr posts, because luckily I can still do that thanks to Andy editing. God bless you, brother. I appreciate you. Let's, let's get into it. Tumblr is simple. I log on. I reblog pretty pictures. I see the most insane opinion a human being can have. And I log off. Today I learned the part of Babe was played by 48 real pigs and one pig robot. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that last bit? Do not question Hogtron. Oink. Okay, never ask a girl if she wants to become a werewolf because she's always going to say yes because girls love tearing things apart with their teeth and ripping people to shreds with their claws. It's a foregone conclusion, an immutable fact of our universe, really, when you think about it. I don't know how I feel about this one. Popular media tends to depict cat girls as having roughly the same preferences and prey items as regular house cats. But this represents a misunderstanding of how feline prey selection works. Cats don't hunt mice because they prefer the flavor. Cats are hyper-optimized predators that will hunt and kill literally anything they can catch. Their preferences in terms of prey items are less a matter of taste and more a matter of scale. You can only venture so high in the food chain when you weigh 10 pounds. Given access to the force multipliers of tools and opposable thumbs, a cat girl would absolutely look at a T-Rex and see tonight's dinner. As far as a cat girl is concerned, the Tyrannosaurus is just a very large chicken. And she's got all the secret herbs and spices. Genshin, listen to me. Where's this character? Y you know, take Xiang Ling? Take Diona? <laughs> there you go. Do it. Before you do something stupid, just think. Would Uncle Iroh be disappointed in me? If so, don't do it! Also ask yourself, is this a thing Zuko would do before his redemption arc? If so, then really don't do it! Heavy TF2 is the ideal man. Well built strong, intelligent, has a literature PhD, passionate about interests, cares deeply about his family, and when he puts on that soft voice, I kind of feel, mmm. You're absolutely right. Andy, put up that little whisper bit he does about how much it costs him to shoot things. It costs $400,000 to fire this weapon for 12 seconds. Aw, oh, yeah, that's the stuff, man. You guys have a train of thought? Like it's on rails and shit? Going straight ahead into a predestined destination? I got a Roomba of thought. It can move straight ahead, but as soon as it bumps into something, it'll turn around and start moving into a brand new, completely random direction. Draw what makes you happy? Well, sir, I hope you're ready for 10 plus posts in a row of the same two characters and the same two characters only. It will keep happening. <laughs> that is, that's absurd. Who would, who would possibly do such a thing like that? Hey, listen, your mother at 17 looks like my cousin. I don't have a picture of her though because her family joined a cult. I'm sorry, her family, what now? God complex this, victim complex that. I have an underground complex. It's where I perform my evil and fucked up experiments. God. Okay, but consider this. Mermaids in space. Space mermaids as in alien mermaids that live in the vacuum of space and swim between the stars. A setting that uses the analogy of deep space as the open ocean but keeps all sea monsters. Do want! Luring astronauts into black holes with a song that carries across the void where no one can hear you scream? Well, this post turned real fast. Space sirens! Jesus comes from a shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Joshua, while Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clearer to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his 12 teenage friends. Ah, Oily Josh and the Greasy Boys. This is so sacrilegious. I love it. I know that the characters are fictional. But the emotional damage they cause is real. And saying that being in your 20s counts as adulthood. Like, being in your 20s just feels like the sequel to being a teenager. Listen, being in your 20s feels like being a teenager and a newborn and a million years old and someone who has already died all at once all the time. No, no, exactly. You, you get it. 
You get it. Wait till you hit 30. Release this pack of dads into Home Depot. Go. Be free. Ugh, invasive species encroach on lesbian territory. Now, this is a common misconception because they're such similar environments, but you should be aware that dads are native to Home Depot, while lesbians are actually native to Lowe's. At this point, however, both dads and lesbians have made themselves at home in both Home Depot and Lowe's to the point that trying to separate them back to their original ranges would probably do more harm than good to the delicate ecosystem of large chain hardware stores. Thank you. Hey, shout out to all the people who started saying same as a joke once in a while, but now use it for the most random things, like a car honking their horn at another car. Yesterday, a book fell off my desk, and instead of picking it up, I just looked at it and said, Same. A zoo is closed forever because a zookeeper developed psychic powers and is now using her mind to fling penguins at anyone who tries to stop her. Oh, God forbid a woman does anything these days. People with really long cues amuse me. Like, they will like your post, and you find out within 10 to 13 business days whether they also thought it was worthy of reblogging. You know, I've been on Tumblr for like 12 years, and I do not think I've used the queue at all. Okay, every friend group should include a bimbo, a mean bisexual, and even me a lesbian, she theys and he theys, a token straight that's on thin ice, Josh, an astrology bitch who has everyone's birth charts memorized, and a short king. Wait. Wait, hold up. Have I made this happen? Oh no. You can't be asexual because you don't reproduce by self-replicating. It's basically the same argument as your nose can't be running because it doesn't have feet. Oh my god. This is going on my list of fave asexual posts. Your Honor, in my defense, you wouldn't get it. You had to be there, Your Honor. Love calling men pretty. You're not handsome. You're the prettiest little princess I ever did see. Love you, champ. Depression. No do you think. Tired. Me. Okay, well, maybe if I go to sleep super duper early, I'll get a decent amount of sleep. Insomnia. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots! Now you are awake! Okay, well, maybe now I can get some stuff done. You fool. You absolute goddamn idiots! And welcome to your weekly scheduled screaming. Just relax, put your feet up, and let it all out. It's okay, buddy. We've all been there.